Azure Cloud Adventure Part 9, The Disaster Recovery Challenge. Hello and welcome to our Ask to Know channel. In this episode, Alex, Sarah, and Michael face a critical disaster recovery challenge. A client has lost critical business data stored in Microsoft Azure due to a misconfiguration. The team must act fast to recover lost data and prevent future incidents. Through this step-by-step -step guide, you'll understand 1. How to assess data loss 2. Azure services used for disaster recovery 3. Best practices to avoid permanent data loss Guys, we have a big problem. Our client just lost all their critical data stored in Azure SQL database. Their entire data set is missing. This is bad. If we don't recover the data quickly, the client's business will be severely impacted. Do we have a backup? I'm checking now, but it looks like they didn't enable point-in-time restore. The deletion is permanent unless we find another solution. Immediate questions the team must answer. What caused the data loss? Is that human error, accidental deletion, system failure? Was Azure backup enabled? Did the client configure any disaster recovery policies? Is there a chance of recovering lost data? Step 1. Checking Azure logs to find the root cause. 1. Go to the Azure portal. Open Monitor 2. Select Activity Log. Filter by Storage Account and Databases 3. Look for Delete Operations. Exploring Recovery Options. Option 1. Recover data from Azure Soft Delete. First, let's check if the Soft Delete feature was enabled. Soft Delete allows data to be restored within 14 days of deletion. Steps to recover using Soft Delete 1. Open Azure Portal, Storage Accounts 2. Select Blob Storage, Deleted Items 3. Click Restore if Soft Delete was enabled. Option 2. Restore from Azure Backup. If Soft Delete is off, do we have Azure Backup enabled? Azure Backup provides a point-in-time restore option. Steps to restore from Azure Backup 1. Open Azure Backup Center in Azure Portal 2. Navigate to Recovery Services Vault 3. Select SQL Database. Restore Latest Backup 4. Verify data and apply recovery. Result. Azure Backup was not configured for this database. Option 3. Use Azure Site Recovery ASR. Can we use Azure Site Recovery? Azure Site Recovery ASR replicates entire VMs and databases for disaster recovery. Steps to recover using ASR 1. Open Azure Site Recovery in Azure Portal 2. Select Impacted VM or Database 3. Choose the last recovery point 4. Click Restore Outcome. The client had not enabled ASR replication, another failed option. Option 4. Manually recover data from transaction logs. We still have one last option, recovering data from transaction logs. Azure SQL database keeps transaction logs that may have retrievable data. Steps to recover from transaction logs. 1. Connect to Azure SQL Server using Azure SQL Management Studio 2. Run query to check available logs. SQL select asterisk from sysdoc nd blog null null 1. Extract recently deleted data. SQL restore database database name from disk equal sign quote transaction log dot back. 1. Validate restored data. Outcome partial data recovery successful. Testing and validating recovery. Steps to validate recovered data. 1. Open Azure SQL Management Studio 2. Run data integrity checks. SQL select count. From restored underscore table. 3. Compare with previous reports. Outcome. 80% of the data was recovered. Preventing future data loss. We barely recovered from this disaster. What can we do to prevent this from happening again? Best Practices for Data Protection 1. Enable Azure Backup. Configure automatic backups. 2. Turn on Soft Delete. Allows recovery of accidentally deleted data. 3. 
Use Azure policy, prevents accidental deletions. 4. Set up Azure Site Recovery, ensures real-time failover. 5. Schedule disaster recovery drills, test your backup plan regularly. Have you ever faced a disaster recovery challenge? Let us know in the comments. Here's a question for you. What's the best Azure service for continuous data protection? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Azure troubleshooting stories. Subscribe for more Azure cloud adventures. Key takeaways for students 1. Always enable Azure Backup and Soft Delete 2. Disaster recovery planning is essential 3. Test your backup strategies regularly. Azure Interview Questions 1. What is the difference between Azure Backup and Azure Site Recovery? 2. How would you recover a deleted Azure SQL database with no backup? 3. What are the key benefits of using Azure Policy for disaster recovery? Thanks for watching and with Learn with Difference with Ask to Know channel.